What's going on guys? Jeff back to the video. Today I've got a cool review for you. Yet another accessory set from the G.I. Joe Collector Club. This one here is the Reproduction Green Beret set. This is a great set. I was uh, really excited when I added this to my collection back in the day. And I think you're going to like the review of it. So we're going to take it back to the shop and do a nice review of it. All right, guys, so here it is, the 2007 G.I. Joe Collector Club Green Beret set. Before we get started, I'll mention a few things. When I was going back through my Collector Club newsletters, I believe this thing was advertised late 2006 for pre-order. And this thing was mired in production delays. Um, I went back and I had all the highlighted due dates for when this was supposed to ship and I know the club had went back and forth uh, with their manufacturer in China and they were trying to get a lot of the things accurate to the original G.I. Joe Green Beret set so this is an accurate reproduction of that set and they had a really difficult time uh, reproducing this so it took a long time for us to get this back in the day. Uh, nowadays, obviously, you pre-order something and like say from Super 7, it takes a year to get it. So <laughs> it's not uncommon now. But back then, we waited a long time for this figure. But you got, or I'm sorry, this set. But you got a really, really great figure. Uh, the packaging is almost identical to the original packaging that the Green Beret set would have came in. Obviously, the original one, um, came with a figure and there's also some variations with just the accessory sets i think vintage 3d joe's has a really good uh break out of all that um, a brand new uh box art as shown here and then the back obviously has the army marine corps air force and frogman of the navy like you would see on some of the other collector club packs. So it was a really nice packaging. It even utilized the string like the original GI Joe accessory sets would be packaged with. Uh, the set itself came with a bazooka, a fatigue jacket, jungle fatigue pants, camouflage scarf, bazooka rockets, grenade, pistol and holster, M16, pistol belt, a field radio, and bazooka. This particular set is on my original G.I. Joe that I got back from a garage sale in the 80s. So this probably dates back to 1983-84. So I thought it was a nice tribute when I got this set to put him on an actual vintage Joe. I've seen a lot of people display these on their 40th anniversary or their Timeless Joes, which is also cool. But I thought I wanted to put this on this vintage Joe because who knows, maybe the, the person that bought this originally had a green beret and, and uh, set and put it on their guy. The, we'll go over everything about it. We'll just break it out in detail. So the Green Beret is a perfect reproduction. I think it's the 7th Special Forces Group. I could be wrong just from trying to go from memory. Um, the fatigue jacket and fatigue pants are almost exact reproductions in color and design of the original Green Beret set. And if you look at my adventure team talking African American commander from the Collector Club, his fatigue jacket and pants were almost the same as this, which leads me to believe that the club went on and carried this over for that talking commander set. I'm not sure, but it looks that way. The fatigue jacket and fatigue pants, perfect reproductions almost. Nicely tailored and nicely done. Uh, the camouflage scarf is almost an exact reproduction as well. These are hard to find in vintage sets. They did a great job reproducing it. As you can see, the beret is a very nice reproduction. The bazooka rockets are also a very nice reproduction. We've all seen these. I think there's a lot of people that 3D print these now. The bazooka 
is also a great reproduction. This was, I believe, I believe the bazooka and the radio were some of the holdups, getting this camouflage deco pattern right. Uh, let's see. We have a set of, let's grab these over here. My apologies. We have a set of, I believe, six grenades, which I've never removed from the package. And let's see, we have a nice 45 pistol and holster and a web belt. And the M16, the reproduction of the old M16 with the wood grain on the stock, which was really nice as well. Um, cool. So, this set, when it first came out, I should have bought multiples of, and I did not. Um, it sold pretty quick, and I don't really see a lot of these on eBay at all. Now, I know that Hasbro, around the same time period, um, had some Green Beret sets. I think FAO Shorts had a Green Beret set. And I know that there was a Timeless Collection Green Beret set too. Uh, they utilized, at least the Timeless Collection one utilizes a lot of the same um, items as this set. Uh, the, some of, there's some slight differences. The Camo Deco on the Field Radio and the Bazooka on the Timeless Collection set are, are different from this. And I believe the Timeless Collection set had a different uh, M16 with a out the wood grain pattern. But... What a great set this was. Now, it did not come with boots. I had to use a set of uh, Timeless Collection Reproduction Brown Boots. Um, so that's the only thing this set did not come with was boots. It's a great set, actually. It's, uh, it's probably the only, I believe, military set that I bought from the Collector Club. Everything else I own, almost everything, is Adventure Team. I do have a couple of convention sets that have uh, Green Berets in them, I believe. But this is one of the nicest things the Collector Club ever did. Um, a perfect reproduction of the classic Green Beret set. Now, if you go back and look at my video I did on Green Berets, I can put a link into the description for that. I think I featured this guy in that in that review that I did. But I love this set. And it's things like this that make me miss the Collector Club because, you know, for all the goofy things that they did, when they hit home runs, they really hit home runs. I and mean, they were Grand Slams. And this was a Grand Slam set. So um, I don't know... How many people out there watching my channel own this? But if you do, let me know in the comments if you have one and what you think of it, if you feel this is a great set. Um, I would suggest if you're a fan of the military era of G.I. Joe, the vintage military era, I would suggest getting this set if you can find it, if you don't have a vintage Green Beret. Now, I do have a vintage Green Beret um, for the 1960s. Um, I was lucky enough to find an antique mall in Terre Haute, Indiana, that had almost one almost complete in a box of junk. So I bought it for like, I think, $80 and I uh, got myself a complete or near complete Green Beret set. And then I had the other parts to, to complete it at home. So um, I wish I could uh, I wish I could find out wh which box I have it in in my vault of toys so I could have put them side by side to compare them. But uh, I just don't have time to do that. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. This is, like I said, this is a really great set by the Collector Club. And uh, I love it. I love having it in my collection. And I'm anxious to see what you guys think of it out there. So uh, like and subscribe to the page. Hit the notification icon. Be on the lookout for more videos. And in the meantime, until we meet again, cheers.